All right, so this will be the ASUS version of my BIOS upgrading guide. So I'm just going to show you the first step, which is go to the ASUS website. The next step, which is go to services, go to support. So more accurately, go to the ASUS support website. I'm going to search by product name. In this case, I have a P8P67 Deluxe. I'm going to go ahead and search for that. Yeah, it helps if you spell deluxe without an R at the end. Deluxer. It's more deluxe than the other deluxe. There we go. So, downloads. Well, the OS that I have is Windows 7 64-bit, which won't be relevant at all. But that's okay. BIOS downloads. Here we go. So, there's a BIOS update from April 1st. Hopefully it's not a joke, but apparently it improves system compatibility. Neato. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open that up. All right, so it's just a ROM file. So I go ahead and put my USB thumb drive into the back of the computer in a USB slot. Okay, got that on there. Apparently I accidentally hit my auto brightness button. Okay, so now I just copy this into the root of my Patriot drive. Four megs. This board uses an EFI BIOS, which means that it uses larger BIOS files because it has a graphical interface and whatnot. Go ahead and restart the board. So when I'm restarting, I'm going to press delete to get into the BIOS and then... Actually, this should go pretty quick, so you guys can just stay with me here. That's me with my headphones holding my camera. Hello. Please put something on the screen now, Mr. Computer. Oh, and I missed it. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. I'm going to press delete a little earlier so that I don't uh, miss it again. Just a moment. There we go. Here I am in the UEFI BIOS. I'm going to go ahead and go into advanced mode because apparently it is advanced to upgrade your BIOS. I'm going to go into tools. I'm going to go into the Easy Flash 2 utility. I'm going to see some graphical artifacts on the screen. Here we are. I'm going to find the BIOS that I just downloaded at some point. There it is. I'm going to re read this file. Now, my usual tips. Uh, first of all, before upgrading your BIOS, you should always make sure that you're running at stock speeds on your motherboard so that you don't run into any issues with an overclocking setting causing instability, which could cause a crash or a corruption of the data while you are flashing the BIOS. I also recommend that you um, use a UPS or a, some other device that will ensure that your system does not accidentally power down while you're flashing the BIOS. The reason for that is if that happens, it could also corrupt the data, which could cause your board to become bricked, which is bad. Still flashing. Uh, once the BIOS flash is complete, it will likely reset all of your settings if you had any change. So you may need to reset your boot order or change any um, settings like whether you want to see your BIOS splash screen, things like that. And that took a little while. Now it's finally done. So I'll show you guys once we get back into Windows how to confirm that the BIOS flash is complete. So here you go guys, we'll just check under mainboard and CPU-Z to see that yes, we are indeed running the latest BIOS on this board at this time. Actually, I'm just going to double check that really quick. 1503, yep, that's the right one. So, well you may have noticed that the um, change log for this BIOS was pretty big. Uh, that's pretty normal. So. Most manufacturers don't recommend that you upgrade your BIOS unless you're experiencing some kind of problem with your system, but my comment to you would be that, yes, you should upgrade if you're experiencing a problem with your system, but don't worry about whether the problem with your system is actually on the change log because they're usually incomplete and vague. So oftentimes they improve things that are not listed on the change log. So now we're running the latest BIOS on this board. Thank you for checking out this episode of Linus Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.